then you move on to Data General, which was a white hot company at the time. Uh, you got to see a lot of entrepreneurial, you got to kind of be involved and witness the sausage making. So you probably then learned even more from that very formative experience, I, I guess. I went there because of that, because it was mm. an entrepreneurial mm. company and because I could, I could get a firsthand, you know, feel for how things were done and what was involved in, you know, making a company and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, when I got there, it was a $30 million company. And, you know, I like knew all the executives. I was, you know, the young guy started as a sales rep, but I knew all the executives and I kind of knew how I could see everything and I could see everything. I wasn't working in a home office, but I had the opportunity to, t to be able to touch stuff. Right. And that was a very important part of my education. So does this, uh, does this ring a bell? If I was to show you this picture over here, so the Nova, the supernova. Yeah, that, uh, you know, the ones we had were mostly rack mounted. Yeah, but they certainly. Rack they, mountable they, supernova. I had, I had one of the one you have on the left over there. I had one of those in the, in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> My wife was really happy when I brought that home. And, and, uh, look, and, and look at this. So they're, they're actually, so this is an actual marketing pamphlet. Uh, yeah. I got it from the Computer History Museum. And yeah. they actually have the instructions uh, and, and it's, it's actually super technical. Like this, this is complex stuff. Well, you know, it was a very, it was very interesting. Um, the competition at that time was the PDP 11. And uh, so we would go in and, and the business was an OEM business. You basically, you know, get someone to design it into their doodad, whatever it was. I mean, you know, uh, CT machines, voting machines, you know, things like that. So, so every time they ship one, you ship one kind of thing, yeah. right? Yeah. And we would go and compete on those deals. And the, the principal competition that we had, the principal, the, the, the essence of, you know, digital PDP-11 and the essence of a Nova was that the PDP-11 was a 12-bit machine and the Nova was a 16-bit machine. And as a result of that, we had a richer instruction set and a larger memory space. And we would go in and sell to customers on this, right? This is what we would talk about. <laughs> I mean, today, nobody would even imagine so doing something like that, but it was a big deal at the time. Sir, did, did, did uh, Data General uh, sell microprocessor-based architecture machines? Uh, later on, you know, originally not. Originally, you know, a processor was a 15 by 15 inch board, right? And over time, you know, they had a, you know, it wasn't even a system on a chip, but they basically put, put the CPU, the Nova CPU, they called it a micro Nova, on a chip, but they were they were losing to uh, Intel at that time in terms of that part of the market. Right, because these are kind of vertically integrated computers. You couldn't really innovate much. And I remember the first time I read about an 8080, which was the uh -huh. first Intel chip that was, uh -huh. you know, had had meaning as a microprocessor. Yeah. yeah. And I came away from it and I said, the world's going to change. And I went back to Data General and I said, you know, we're going to lose. In, in this part of the business because of this stuff, the world's gonna change. And they didn't wanna to listen to me because I was a young sales district manager and what the fuck did I know, excuse, me, excuse the French. Um, and, uh, but you know, I was, I was just dead right. I could just see it unrolling in front of me and that this was, you know, I, I couldn't see how it ended up, but I could just see how this was gonna change the dynamics of these two industries.